Hi, this is a tutorial on how to simulate an air-conditioned room using the Phoenix VR software, which is a CFD or Computational Fluid Dynamics software. So I'll start by opening the software. Okay. Um, but before beginning, let me show you an existing model which I created earlier just to inspire you. So this is actually a model of a laboratory uh, which we will simulate later on. So let's begin by starting a new case. Here just choose for I just click OK and then we have view control panel. Okay, so you want to set the models first. Here you want the solution for velocities and pressure to be turned on and for energy equation choose temperature. For the turbulence model you can choose laminar but it depends on you. Anyway, for this demo, we'll, let's just use this models. Go to the top menu, click geometry. Let's say the room is this big in terms of X, Y, and Z. Okay. In order to fit the contents in the window, you can click this button. Fit the window. So this is already our domain. And the first thing that you want to do is to create the ceiling and the walls. So for that, you click the button object. Here you can find that we already have one object, the domain. So we need to add a new one named ceiling. For the type, let's just leave it as that. Okay. So you want our ceiling to occupy the whole Z versus X plane. So as a shortcut, you can just click this button to end. So for this one, let's set it to zero. So this is our ceiling. It occupied the Z and X plane. And um, inf it's infinitesimally small in the Y plane. You want to set the transparency of the object to less than 100 because later on you want to be able to see through the, the ceiling. Um, next, we modify the object type to plate. Apply. Okay. So now we want to create the floor. But as a shortcut, you can just click this object, copy objects. And then double click so that you can modify it. So the only difference with our ceiling would be the position. For this one, we want to locate it at the end of the Y plane. So there, that's our floor. See? Ceiling and floor. Now we want to create our walls. For the walls, um, we want our inlet and outlet to be positioned at the east and west wall. So we create new object. Okay. So wall E for wall west first. Wall west and wall east. So object type would be blockage, the size would be, um, you want to occupy the Z and Y plane. As for the thickness of a wall, let's say it's a 0.5, no it's too big, 0 0.05. There, so that's our west wall. Um, but the problem here is that, as you can see, it occupied the whole side. There's no space for the inlet. 
So what we want to do is to um, decrease this, say to this value, 1.8. And let's say our inlet is near the ceiling. So we want to position it at the end of the wire. As you can see here, um, it did not fully occupy the whole wall. There's space or there's a hole for the inlet. So let's do the same for the east wall. Position is... Okay, as for the north wall, wall north, so we want it to occupy the whole X and Y. X and Y. Right. The place would be at the end of the sea. Okay. So just duplicate that. Next. Then this time it's a ball south. Position is. Uh, okay, there. So this is our model, physical model. So you want to create the inlet next. So create new object. Um. So it's here so we want to fill in the gap here that will be our inlet inlet right so press the side nope so V and then Uh, nope. There. So it's infinitesimally small at the x axis. Let's go back to the general options and select inlet. Right. Okay. So there's our inlet color differently violet now we want to duplicate that um, at this time the outlet the object type select outlet position it on the opposite side so that's the end of your x-axis okay so this is as you will notice whenever you click on an object this window will automatically pop up with the selected object. Okay. So let's try simulating uh, an airstream. Let's say your inlet is no, this is the ceiling. So let's click the inlet and then click attributes. Let's say in the x direction has a velocity 5 meters per second. Okay, for the outlet, assuming steady state, let's say the velocity is in the x direction is also 5. So as you'll notice, you will be able to select the temperature also. 
if we do here but let's just use the default which is ambient okay um to make things more exciting let's put a blockage somewhere here otherwise the air would just move um the straight line from the west to the east wall and sort of blockage So I want it to be nope, along Z, right? Okay, and then along X. I want to increase it in position along the X. You might do Z two. Okay. Okay, let's try it. Click run, then solver. Save. So this will pop up. Just wait for it to finish. Okay, now it's done. We now go to the post processor graphics user interface. Okay. Mm. So, what we want to do is to check our um, profile's velocity in the x axis, in the y axis. So we click here for the um, contour or that's the profile and velocity. So this is how our velocity would look like. That's right. You can also click here or here. So this is this one is for vectors and this one is for isosurface. Hmm. But the most exciting thing that you can do is to animate. So click this button which is Streamline. So this window will open and then let's just say um, Streamline start along the line. Number of Streamlines 20. And then here just click New. So this will generate the streamlines there. So those are your streamlines. So now you want to animate. You can unclick the rest so that you'll see. Oh, so interesting. So because of our black cage, blockage a sort of um, circular airflow happened interesting right but for some of the airstreams they go to the outlet hmm Anyway, if you also want to simulate the temperature, you can set different temperatures for the inlet and outlet. And then you can also check the profile. But for our... So let me just turn off the animation first. So I want to see the temperature. View. Yeah. Okay, so let's view, let's save this first. Save. Now I want to show you the 
Through which I simulated. This one. And okay. Oops. Okay, for this room, as you can see here, the streamlines show interesting directions. This is the air condition, this is uh, in the exhaust fan, this is the fume hood, because this is a laboratory, guys. So, in conclusion, the Phoenix software is very useful if you want to simulate the streamlines, temperature, and well, pressure of a room. Yeah. That's it. Thank you for watching.